How are you doing and how have you been? My name says Astral, this is Parkins, let's get to it. Now we've just accepted a quest where we have eight mega sloths man, -he man eaters and we get like an advanced component, some honor from it afterwards. We're just gonna hide inside. The only scenario that we didn't actually think of that would actually make this really bad is if we had a siege. Like that would be pretty devastating. But you know, it's an easy quest. We've got a little bit of food. At the end of the day, we're going to struggle with food without this. It'd be great if some sappers attacked us now, because obviously, either way, we'd get some meat, whether it's through these mega sloths, or whether it's through, you know, the humans attacking us. Um, and we've, you know, we're going to start to go through, you know, human meat being eaten quite long ago. We've got a few negatives as we've been eating uh, bug meat and stuff like that, which obviously we hate. Which, to be fair, it's a little bit judgmental. Bugs might be nice, you don't know. Um, other than that, research-wise, we're on geothermal power, which is a big one. But that's why we wanted our high-tech research bench beforehand. And apart from that, it's basically what Randy is going to throw at us. You know, a trader would be nice, though. Just saying. I wouldn't mind. Obviously, we have tons of stuff to sell and to be fair we can even just sell all the human leather like outright like we get so much of it but it's been sparse the f couple of episodes since lewis has joined it's been a bit sparse let's be honest lewis hiding body parts in his pocket taking them to his bedroom and eating them like i like to think you open his drawers in his bedrooms and it's just like body parts and then he can have a snack in bed and stuff Maybe he's a, what is it, an auto cannibal? A cannibal that eats themselves or whatever? I mean, this gives the colonists time to get to know each other, to hold hands and skip through the butchering that they do. No, it's basically this episode is see what Randy chucks at us and try and get as close to geothermal power as possible. Now, we could install a few batteries, I've seen you people say, which... At the end of the day, if we can't fill these two up, putting another one in, I don't feel it's going to do too, too much. But I hear you, party people. I hear you. I'm listening. I really want some people to attack us. This would be such a good chance. Because we do need the meat. Because after this, basically, when we run out of food, there is a way we can get food. But obviously it could end the series. Now what I mean by it, if we look at these bugs, we can see some juicy insect jelly in between. The problem is, is that we found is the bugs are very volatile when we come in what seemingly is like 10 squares of a hive. Then they are aggroed. Or at least when we picked up a body inside, it might not have been there. It might have been like a couple in. So when they're sleeping, we'd have to come pick them in. But that's incredibly risky. Do you know what I mean? It's a shame we couldn't call someone like, come and trade with us and let the mega sloths eat you. If they started leaving. More power problems. I know we've got too many lights and stuff. That's the only thing. Problem is I would normally open up this freezer and whatnot. But it gets so cold. Anyone like cooking is going to freeze to death. But maybe we do that. Because then we only need the one light. It saves a bit on electric. Should we try it and just see what happens? So we'll go deconstruct. Because actually we could do with the... do with the resources as little as they are I suppose the only thing is if I don't know we're gonna have to sort of judge it as it goes it makes the freezer a little bit bigger I suppose which isn't the worst thing in the world not that we'll need loads of steel oh the mega sloths are asleep slaughter them imagine you get one shot you miss it, you're done. 
Then we can expand the freezer, I suppose. That's one less lamp we need, so. Okay. Well, I'm happy with the progress. It's obviously just the food situation that gives me anxiety. I feel like I'm, like, living with Perkins and Lewis as it started snowing outside my window. We have a raid. They're bug side. This is going to be interesting. Let's have... There's a big raid. No, I need you to get... Oh, this is going to... like They're going to slip through the bugs. And then slip through the mega sloths. Just, that's a massive raid. Yes, yes, this is what we want, party people. This is best case scenario. Because, why it's best case scenario, is because the bodies are down here, not near the bugs. This is why we keep the infestation. This is why we keep them. That was a rather big attack, though, the game is sending me at this stage. Rather big attack. Now... I am going through these one by one. If there is a cannibal, we will find them. Well, if the cannibal's alive. Because Lewis is a cannibal, right? Yeah. But this has answered all our prayers. All right, sorry, I'm just going to one more time. We can't miss anyone. Cannibals aren't going to come very often. Okay. No cannibal. That's what I'm saying, like. The infestation probably saved us there. Makes me incredibly nervous. The winds are blowing where I live. <laughs> the snow is coming down. I feel like I'm under the cosh in real life. I don't eat humans in real life just in case the FBI is watching. Does the FBI do stuff in England? I don't know. Who does stuff at the Met? No. Scotland Yard? I don't know. It doesn't sound as cool when you say Scotland Yard to like the FBI though, does it? Right. Pause the game. Wildlife. There's one mega sloth remaining. He's gone. It's dinner time. Let's get to it. Right. Actually, no. Let's do this sensibly. Let's do bug food. Because what we don't want to do is get near the bugs. We've got no reason to. We're going to take a wide buff, just in case they get aggro. I'm going to wait for them to go up here. Perkins gained a title. Okay. She is a freeholder. Sounds like an insult, but we'll take it. And the pods have arrived. We'll now give them the zones. Uh, I'll just give it cold because that's the zone we're sort of doing as and when. When the bugs go fully back. See, they're still aggro. That's why you don't want to jump on the food too quickly. They are eating some of the human meat. But this is, a, this is something that we can't rush. We can't rush this. At the end of the day, we've got a tight... We have got meals at home. So it's not like we're desperate to get out here. But at the same point, we need to get as many of these as possible. Exotic goods, trader, trade ship, trade ship. Oh, this is the episode. Who's got the better social? This is the episode party, people. Uh, Lewis has, Lewis has. Are they exotic? Exotic. Surely they want the body parts. Surely. Party people. They do, they do, they do, they do, they do, they do, they do. Do, do, do. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So they value the liver, the heart, the lung. Okay. Sell, 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 sell. Oh, our silver is outside. That's a problem. Okay. Didn't think of that. Saying that, what have you got that we want? We'll sell you them horns as well. 
Okay. Oh, this is good, party people. They sell glitter world medicine. Let's buy one. Because we've got nine. Let's take it up to twelve. I feel like twelve's good. Components. Do we need any more components? Let's get like fourteen. I feel like no, let's take them all. Let's take them all. We might as well. Then is there anything else that we want at the moment? I know I can hear you guys saying more. Advanced components we're not going to bother with for the time being. Because I would like to pocket some cash. So I feel like having as much cash as possible is going to be really important. We could get a tube television, but we're not crying out for it at the moment. Don't want to start stockpiling advanced components now. I'd rather pocket the cash for when we get like a military trader, where we buy some armor, weapons, that sort of stuff. Um, yeah, we're selling our mind screw because I don't trust the medical nuance of Lewis to actually cut open Perkins's brain and put something in. Field hand? Speed up sowing and harvesting where well, we don't do that. I feel like that's quite good. So we're going to end like that, pocket a bit of cash. And then what we will do is an orbital trade be to beacon. We will put one outside for next time. But we would want we want to keep all this anyway. It's mainly just so obviously all our coinage actually counts. That the kindly toad corporation. Obviously they didn't take in our parkers, but they took the other stuff. Right. Now how are the bugs doing over here? Because this is Okay, the bugs are going up, so let's just go speed free. Let's wait for them to go up. Cause I don't see, look, they're still aggro. We just got to wait. We just got to wait. I believe it's as they're, like, if one of them's, like, in pain or getting hurt. Now, there's no rush, but the problem is we've still got a spider down here. We don't, he doesn't look like he wants to go up, though. He looks like he's sort of separated. The problem is, ugh, the problem is every part of my body, and I'm sure you watching, is telling me to get over here because they've eaten quite a lot. Okay, they've gone right up now. Let's alter this zone a little bit more. So then they'll literally come round here, nick the food, come round here. Okay. Okay, give it a... Okay. Like, every time they do this, I'm like, okay, I'm glad I held off. What is interesting, they de-aggro about here. This bug isn't getting aggroed. Walk speed, 96%. 100%. Okay, 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 okay. They're still coming. They came a bit more for us that time. All right, we're going to have to take a longer route. We need this food because it just improves moods. Right, let's stay well away. So we're learning sort of that aggro range. I believe because they saw us, they were able to travel a little bit faster. So now let's put bug food. So then they'll go this way to go get it. The problem is we do need some. Am I rushing this one? We don't need to. Okay, they did lose aggro, but... No, go home, guys. This isn't worth the risk at the moment. They're too aggro. They're too aggro.
They're way too aggro at the moment. I'm rushing something that doesn't need to be rushed. Okay. We've got some meals at home. I'm sorry, party people. I just want to get it. The sooner we can get it in, the better it's going to be. Problem is, they're chill for a little bit. Right, they're all asleep. Right, sorry, party people, but this is going to have to be where we go. Right, you're going to hear like a big space bar. Because I've basically got to watch these bugs. I can't not watch them. As our colonists obviously come in to nick the bodies. We have to do this at night. Right, there we go. We nicked them two bodies. Perfect. You brought it back to that. Now come get another one. Now come get another one. We'll haul them and dump them here because then it's just quicker to get them back. And especially in the day, we're not going to have the luxury of time to be able to grab these. God, do, are we, do we feel like grave robbers at this point? I am watching their breakdowns. We'll probably do one more body and then leave it, to be honest. Because that's a, that's a good... Good stash. Yeah. Okay, that's... Lewis dumping a meal. Brilliant. Yeah, that's us done. Hopefully we don't get a breakdown to that, but we might. Moods are low. Right, they're going to go to sleep, which is fine. Got two more bodies down here. Obviously more up here, but it's a bit more awkward getting to them. So I'm just going to let our colonists rest, get the food in that they need to. Yeah, it's because some of the bugs are dying. So why did you die? Okay, it was the humans, so I think it's obviously the damage, and then some of them were getting damaged over time. Okay. There we go, Lewis is butchering them. Good job, Lewis. Okay, you're coming to collect that one. Perfect. Saying that, Lewis, if you want to try and be sneaky. Perkins is getting wreck time, so I'm just going to leave her. Once she's done with that, she'll come and get another body. See, look, they're aggro to us now. I'm going to let Lewis grab that. He should be okay. Yeah, they lost aggro. Okay. Just got to make sure they have a decent... Well, they're still coming. Right, let's keep them in the sort of safe for a moment. So we don't want to agitate... Oh, they're having a fight. Don't want to agitate them too much, because as we see, we can end up luring them back to base, which isn't good. We don't have the firepower to be able to deal with that yet. But our prayers have been answered. This is why this series, or this playstyle, is so fun, I feel. Because you don't really know when the next meal is coming. Why are they still coming for us? Have we agitated them too much? We can lure them onto the, tra um, the traps if needed. We're going to stay in the base for a little bit. What is a visitor? Just one. It would have been good if there was a group of them. Just to lure them the other side. But we'll stay in our base. Stay safe. 
Because obviously they must be getting damage, and the fact that we're luring them round, you can see they're getting closer and closer to us. Well, he's already leaving because of a dangerous temperature. Yeah, not the insects and the infestation and the mech cluster. Yeah, please go back. Please go back. Problem is, is we needed to make a dive for the food sooner rather than later just because the mood boosts that it does bring is pretty legit. But where it's getting cold, all the little ones are going to start starving. See you later. So look, no aggro towards him. And then about there, he got aggroed. Yeah, nine away. So look, for up here we noted ten. Nine away from a hive, you get aggro. So I'll just give ten, because the reason why I'm putting ten, although we know it's nine now, is to just give us a little bit of leeway. What I mean by that is if we're nicking something, and I've got the line there, I know not to even go near that just in case. Just in case they aggro there, but happen to kill him there, do you know what I mean? So very, very interesting. Right, we're going to leave them alone for a little bit. Luckily, while the bodies deteriorate outside, they don't... Um, they always stay um, fresh, so to speak, because of the temperature. So that's nice. Obviously, it would be great if we could nab more food. The problem is, is now they have that social fight, their movements... Yeah, look, look at Perkins' movement speeds are very, very low. Rare Fumbros. They're really agy. When Lewis wakes up, I'm going to get him to haul that body. Because while we're okay for food, at the same time, we're not being able to have a chance to haul them back as much as I would like. So Lewis is, I'm going to get him to come haul that now. Perkins, what is your walk speed? 77, I'm not, I'm not risking it. Not risking it for a biscuit, absolutely not. Coming up to halfway through geothermal power, which is important. We're about to have a freezer full of, um, I think it's a cat food. And I don't know why that jumped in my head. Lewis's walk speed is 100%. Sorry, Lulu. I said when we do this, I have to watch the bugs. I have to know when they move. Because when they move, I need to hit the pause button and then make a judgment of what I'm doing with Lewis. So far, so good. Then when he gets back here, then I'll dump the body, get him to nick another one, and I'll get Perkins to take over. So I'll pause. I'm trying to get the ones that look like they haven't. I probably should check and get him to um, take the ones that haven't already been, like, had bug bites out of them. Go on, Lewis. There we go. And Perkins will come take that one. Perfect. And we get a bit more meat in the freezers. Starvation. Perkins. That's fine. That's fine. We're going back now. Just trying to take a couple a day. A couple a day keeps the doctor away. Why is that? Because the doctor is the bodies we're eating. See? That's a nice message to send the kids. Lewis, are you still... So, uh, pause, pause, pause. Perkins, where are you going? Going to smoke a smoke leaf. Um, how about... No. So, Louie Lou, are you still one on cooking? Yeah, you are. Right, let's get all these cooked up, butchered, sorted out. And then we'll worry about some more. 
Because the problem as well, what you have to realise, is as we are going to get all these bodies, days are passing where we're not progressing. Now, yes, obviously, we do need the food, that is for sure, and we can't avoid that. But at the same time, we don't want to spend every day going from one side of the map to the other to get food, because then we're not progressing in any way, shape or form. I'll tell you what, one thing that I did actually want to look at as I pause. Um, if I add carnivore fine meal, I just want to make one. Clear all. Human meat. Takes eight. How much more efficient is it to do this than eat raw? Now, we have to bear in mind that raw cannibalism gives us 20. Okay. Oh, he's under the level skill of six. What is this cooking then? Four. Oh, my man. Right, Perkins has a better cooking skill. So let's just put Perkins on cooking for the moment. Right, how much... Can't see how much you take. 15. Okay. You pocketed that. Can you eat it? I want to see, like, what mood it gives you. Because that's definitely better with making the food last. Oh, there, look, slightly impressive dining room, slightly impressive rec room. Nice, nice, nice. Get some more statues down the line to make it obviously really nice. Because right, you're just eating a simple meal. Didn't get anything for that. I want Perkins to eat. There we go. There we go. So what boost do you get from eating that? Cook cannibalism 15. I mean, that's not a lot of difference. And we get the eight, eight fine meal of five. Which takes it to 20 and get the eight. So 24. So we need to be doing this then, surely. Like, unless I'm wrong, unless someone corrects me, this is much more efficient. Um, eight. This is much more efficient. Let's put that right at the top. The problem is, is that does mean Perkins needs to cook. What I need to do, so on the carnivore meal, allow, no, on the simple meal, don't allow anyone Because then that will mean uh, Lewis will do this. So then he'll be able to get his cooking up. Because we need Perkins on research. Not wasting time doing that. So I've got to set these to try and ban. There's a better way of doing this already. I've just seen it. I've just seen it. I'm a fool. Any worker. Only Lewis. Same with this one. That's a much better way to do it. Any worker. Just Lewis. So Perkins will do the other task. But then that still lets Lewis do the other one so he can get his cooking level up. So then eventually, obviously, he can take over as full-time chef. Cook at the station. Yeah, because that's 15. 15 par. Much better. But saying that, the only thing I do want to correct is not to do it like that. We need to do it Carnivore meal times four, so then we can do it quicker. It's a bit more efficient. Do until you have 20 umpours at eight. Clear all human meat, and then only allow Perkins on. Well, Perkins, yeah, that doesn't matter. It's just the other ones. There we go. Then Perkins cook. Then she'll do four at a time. But we're getting the same mood boost. If not, if not. 
if I've because the, the only calculation I didn't look at is if raw cannibalism gives you the plus four for eating human meat because that's what it comes down to. Is we get that eight human meat. I know this sounds silly. Do you get that for raw cannibalism? If you do, then the only thing we are losing out on is four mood boost. Because you take that away, we get the 15 through cooked cannibalism. Yeah. We get the five through eight fine meal, which takes that to 20. So that's basically the same thing now. And you're using less of it at a time. If we got that as addition to that, so if we got the eight human meat on top of the raw cannibalism, we only lose four. And we can make food last a lot longer, like, pretty nice. We will take this transport pod crash. It will make Lewis's mood go a little bit low. But food is king. Right, Perkins is doing that. Let's have a look at walk speeds. Uh, Lewis. I'll just take Lewis to go get some. And then Lewis can go get some more of that because the more human meat we can get, the better. Saying that these are still aggroed, so let's not worry about it. Let's not worry about it. Because these are just... We need to really let them... I think it's more because you've crashed. I was what He's psychopath, though. Can't really get it. Can't get to him. Like all our science lessons, risking it to come get him. You know, if there, if anything is within these ten spaces, we need to keep this rule of not going there. Otherwise, we're gonna we're asking for trouble. Realistically, if you got to this part of the video, leave a like, leave a sub, leave a comment. I'll catch you next time, party people. Me and Perkins will catch you next time, party people. Bye.